Hey everyone, it's Abby. Today I wanted to make a pair of linen Victorian drawers for my 1890s ball gown project. This is part two of the series. The Laughing Moon pattern that I used for the corset previously also has a pattern for the drawers, so that's what I'm going to be using. So let's take a look! I lay out my nice linen fabric from Dharma Trading Company. I pin my drawers pattern to the doubled fabric, and I pin the waistband along the fold. I get my large shears and cut out the pieces. I decided I wanted to add some small pin tucks to the bottom of the drawers. I fold up an inch and pin in place. I machine sew a quarter inch from the edge of the fold. I flatten out the fabric to create the first tuck. I measure an inch from the other tuck so I can create the next tuck in line. I machine sew another pin tuck. I pin and machine sew the legs of the drawers up. I pin a one inch strip of linen to the top raw edge that runs front to back. These drawers have an open crotch for ease of bathroom use. I machine sew the linen strip a quarter inch from the edge. I 
I run two lines of machine stitches parallel to each other for gathering along the waistline of the drawers. I fold the raw edges under to create a quarter inch hem at the bottom of the drawers. I will be adding this lime green ribbon at the top of the pin tucks and the lace will be added to the hem. I fold over the linen strip to hide the raw edges and hand whip stitch the inside to finish. I also fold under the raw edges to prepare to hand whip stitch the inside leg seam. I hand sew the lace to the hem. I also hand sew the lime ribbon in place right above the pin tucks using a running back stitch and lime thread. In order to add the waistband to the drawers, I start by finger pressing one side of the waistband down. I gather and pin the tops of the drawer legs to the other side of the waistband, starting at the center. I machine sew the gathers in place along the waistband. I fold the waistband up and finger press along the gathers. Linen creases really easily, so finger pressing is pretty simple. I fold the waistband to the inside and pin in place. I lay the front pieces over each other and pin a little ways down. This keeps the drawers from gaping in the front. I will be sewing a line of stitches where the pin sits. I machine sew a line a little over a half inch to the top of the waistband. I check the sizing with my lime ribbon. I add a safety pin to the end of the lime ribbon and use it to push the ribbon through the casing that I created at the top of the waistband.
I wanted to add one more detail to the drawers, a thick cream ribbon. I measure two and a half inches up from the lime ribbon and pin in place. I place pairs of pins half inch apart from each other, and then more pairs at two inch intervals along the cream ribbon. I hand sew buttonholes the size of the width of the cream ribbon. I cut those buttonholes open with my scissors. I laced the cream ribbon through the buttonholes and tie it off on the sides for an extra little detail. And there we go! I have a pair of fine linen Victorian drawers. Thank you for joining me today as I made a pair of Victorian drawers. Next up, I'll likely make a linen chemise to go underneath the ball gown. I'm super excited to be continuing to work on this project. I so want to finally get to the outer layers. If you liked this video and want to see more sewing and costume videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy sewing!